Hello there, I'm Freeland1787. In this video, I'm going to explain the stopwatch trick in the first level of Castleva the Castlevania Any% Percent Speedrun. So this game has a lot of frame-based RNG manipulation manipulate to manipulate drops, as well as manipulate how enemies behave. So we're going to be exploiting both of those things in order to save three and a half seconds other over the traditional bat boosties. So starting off, we're going to reset. Buffer a start input as quick as four frames after hitting the reset button. Or to set this up. But basically, this is a frame based manip to get an ideal zombie pattern entering level one. You're going to try and get the stopwatch. So we're going to set. Move up the save state to show you what I'm doing here. So when you jump in the castle, make sure you hold right. It's a two frame window. You see, I missed the two frame window, so you get a different pattern. Well, it's not the only pattern you can get. Get this pattern. It's possible to get backup stopwatch off that third zombie. But basically, how you jump into this, jump into the castle is gonna matter what pattern you're gonna get. Make sure you hold right as you're jumping in. Although it looks like I'm not getting the right pattern. Hold right. Get this pattern. Get your stopwatch drop. That the drop is. You have to kill the zombie on the right, the drop frame in this game, which is every 16 frames in order to do that. So, do it again. You see what happens if I miss the frame. That's why people call. That's why this trip. Uh, this thing is called frame perfect, even though it's not. You just have to hit it on the right frame. It's not the only spot to get a stopwatch. Conversely, if you don't get one, you can set up on the second wave of zombies if you get a good enough pattern. You can set up the stopwatch on the second wave. right there so kind of the uh, trick I do here when I get to the zombies first one early third one late sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't but it's kind of just the, the guideline I go with we'll show it off one more time show it off until I actually get the watch and then what I like to do there is I like to put that candle. Sometimes it'll drop a heart, sometimes a candle. I mean, a uh, money bag, but that allows me to get past that zombie without losing a frame roll. So now we're in the stopwatch trick. So you see here, I'm holding up, up, and left. You see right there, that I'm late on... So the instant feedback, holding up and left. If I'm late, Simon will turn around. Like that. You can see on the first possible frame, Simon turns around while holding left, while facing right. Now I need to explain what happens if you're two frames late. The bats on the screen obviously are too late, and if you're too early, the stopwatch won't activate. And if you're on time, you're going to hit the stopwatch on... Simon will not turn around because the stopwatch will be on frame 1. It's important to hit the stopwatch on frame 1 because you're delaying the spawn of the bat. The bat spawns in on frame 2. Its sprite becomes visible on the third frame of stage 2. You can see how tricky this thing is. So yeah, once you get over that bat and you got the bat boost, you should hit the door at around 2.59 on the in-game timer, and that's kind of the bat boost all together right there. So it's definitely a good idea. Make sure you hold, uh, practice this a lot if you're doing speedruns for 11, 3x, 11, 2x with the stopwatch trick. 